Hello there, this is Robocop, and I'm going to give you the important guides when you're buying consoles from outside NTSC regions and PAL regions. Now, in this location, this is the PAL region in the UK, so I may not have the plugs for the NTSC televisions or that, but I'm going to show you some important guides. Now, what you see here is the composite video plugs and you've probably seen these one of these before for your camcorders back in the 90s now in the UK you might see one of these SCART leads and this is what a SCART RGB plug looks like in the EU and the good thing is, is this adapter has this plugs here, so you can plug in. Because sometimes if you don't have these adaptions, it may not fit in your TV. But I'm going to look at the TV with you in just a second and I'll explain why. Because you probably get these sort of things for your PlayStation 1, so you can play Time Crisis. But bear in mind... If you have an old CRT TV, your light gun games will only work on CRT TVs because if you look at this TV here, this is a high definition plasma screen TV, which is different. Now the reason why I'm showing the back is I'm going to show you some of the ports that would fit in with the plugs. Now this sort of plug here is for the composite videos that can give you an interlaced resolution around about. 480i which is interlaced beginning with i or in PAL region 576 pixels interlaced now sometimes you can get progressive scans now this is the component plugs for the now this is for the Wii but you can get this for your Xbox or your PlayStation 2 these sort of things then this has the red green and blue and the audio plugs separated into five different things in the gold plated ports here. Now it's quite hard to see, but as you can just look, you can just see five golded ports. And that can be plugged into your special enhanced definition TV because these sort of things are only available for your enhanced definition TV. Well, the SCART lead, if I bring it back here, is for the standard definition TV. Now, with respect, I do understand some of you are cannot afford high screen definition TVs and you want to buy something cheap from eBay and you want to get anything working quick as you can. This is the reason why I'm helping you be aware of things in case you find something from eBay. And you get muzzled up on what sort of thing you need, like the input and output ports that you need later on. So yeah, this is the SCART lead adapter. Just let you focus. Yes, this indicate what each of the composite leads and plugs lead to. Anyway, now sometimes you might get other things like RF connectors. Well, here in the UK, I've got this TV aerial plug. Now, this is the sort of thing that is commonly used for analog TVs, which has been used for many decades until they've been superseded by the digital TV with HDMI high definition TVs. So, this is the sort of thing you would get for your Mega Drive or Genesis, Genesis in the American states. Or even your Super NES. Anyway, so that's the aerial plug here, that's the TV aerial plug. You've probably seen these before if you're in the UK, but. So these are the ports. Now we're going to look at the sockets. Now, if we just move this chair a bit and just zoom in. Bit of light here, hang on. That's better. Now, that silver one, that barrel in the middle, that's the aerial plug that plugs into your analog TVs. So you can have analog signals, but 
these things will eventually die out because they've been superseded by the HDMI. Now this, this thing here, that's three HDMIs, 1.4. This is for your high definition TVs. And this one here, if I just highlight it, that is the Scott lead. And this one's the Ethernet plug for your internet, but that doesn't matter. And that one in the middle, remember these five gold-plated ports? That is where you plug in your thing, because it's important to realise if your TV's got the ports that are compatible with your games. Whether you're buying them from the US, Japan, and this one personally doesn't have an S-video port, or even a D-terminal if you're in Japan. Like if you have a Famicom or any anyway. So that's what I'm going to show you. Now, if you do buy things from eBay for a cheap price, like handhelds, hand-me-downs, pre-owned games, please make sure that your TV is compatible with these sort of things and check for the ports. Because I realise when one of my mates bought a TV from eBay, it was a CRT TV but it didn't have the SCART leads, which is pretty regrettable for him and... He spent the postage and packaging for the delivery for a heavy package. So please be sure to look behind your TV because sometimes it's very hard unless you've got this TV part at the corner here and you cannot see. But of course, these TVs like that that are very thin are very easy to look behind. But if it's fixed to a wall, that's not going to be good. So that's what I'm going to show you. Hope this is useful. So if you have any questions, Feel free and goodbye.